they said peaceful coexistence. Now let us ask ourselves this question: Those in Southern Kaduna, are they are they living peacefully? Are they their friends? I want every ethnic group in Nigeria. I want everybody in that suit to understand this very simple logic. The foreigners can never love you. You think the foreigners hate the Igbo man, the foreigners hate Biafra as a concept. That they will love you? No. That was the nonsense they sold to Goli people. The same nonsense they sold to, 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 to Nika Delta. Or those who foolishly identify themselves as Nika Delta. That was the same garbage they sold to them. The same part, Edwin Clark, you see, crying today. The same garbage he they connived together to sabotage Biafra. But everybody's crying today, isn't it? It's no longer an evil man. Yoruba is crying. Everybody's crying now, isn't it? Across the TV, people are crying. In Doma, everybody in the zoo, Southern Kaduna, everybody is crying. Baggy, they are complaining in, in Abuja. To let you understand that you brought all this nonsense upon your head. You allowed the full and the leeway to mess all of you up the way they're messing you up out of fear because most of you are cowards most of you cannot rise up against the Fulani the same way that IPOB has done and will continue to do until Biafra comes we are not going to stop you think we are going to stop rubbish we are not going to stop Southern Kadada dying this report is saying indigenous alleged government support for ethnic cleansing agenda it is a Fulani agenda it was the blueprint by the dead Buhari they wanted to kill people to take away from your villages to take over Italy cannot talk to you, there is Ajib. France is not going to talk to you because there is Elf. There is Total. They are making money from oil and gas. So how are they going to talk? Even before we went to Israel, they went to Israel, they gave them defense contract. I'm saying to Israeli businessmen, go and tell your politicians, don't listen to Nam Bekano. I was in Israel, they were telling me to my face, face to face. Anything I tell you is not second-hand, it's what I am involved in. And I keep asking myself, why? You go to US, there are US business interests. So anytime there is trouble, let me tell you the way they play this game. Very, very clever people. Or Fulani, or should I say British, giving them the brain. They gave everybody something that is a portion of the zoo you are enjoying, including Czech Republic. Do you know that that plane that flew to Switzerland later on went to Czech Republic for servicing? They are Air Force One. They will be wondering how I know. Do you know that they are buying arms from, from, from Czech Republic? Do you know that? So, now, if, not if, because there is a very healthy, sizable IPOB family in Czech Republic, you know what they do? They go down and say to them, oh, you are there. You have our contract. We are giving you defense contract as they did in Israel. How come you are allowing IPOB to be doing this? That, the businessman will now pick up his pen and write a letter to their ministry. Maybe your home affairs and say, I, 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 I'm so and so person. Our company is making so much money from Nigeria, and Nigerian government is saying that they're upset the way you people are cooperating with IPOB. Because of that, please stop it. You will see them, they will change their interview techniques during asylum, uh, when we seek asylum. That's what they do. That time, that's all they do. They now pressure the business in that country as they did in Italy with Ajib. Ajib is the one now contacting judges. Tell them, oh, please, IPOB is this, IPOB is that. Because the zoo has put pressure on them. That's what they do. That is what they do. Some of you don't know this, but we know. And we are countering them every blessed day. If you know the battles we are fighting on a daily basis, uh, believe you me, if you see us, you give us a very cold beer to drink. I'm telling you the truth. A serious battle. That's what they do in the zoo. Or, after, or is it in Germany? Because the people putting pressure on the government are the businesses doing business in the zoo because of the money they are getting. All of you, you are niggas, you can go to hell. That's what they say to you. You are a nigger, you can go to hell. Our concern is the money coming into Germany from Julius Becker, from Siemens. All of you can die. We don't give a damn. That is why what is happening in the zoo, you, all of you remember the Rohingya. Have you all forgotten Rohingya? Rohingya because Muslims were involved. 
because in the zoo Christians are being killed and to be a Christian is no longer fashionable in the world anymore maybe to be a Muslim is to be a Christian is no longer something to be proud of that is why they can kill as many Christians or should I say today Christians as possible and nothing is going to happen nothing will happen nothing will happen because has the Pope spoken? The answer is no. How about Archbishop of Canterbury? No! That one wants oil money. Look at ordinary Rohingya. How many people did, uh, did is it Burma? How many people did they kill? Is it Myanmar? How many Rohingyas did they kill? And it's everywhere. Every news. Everywhere you go is Rohingya. Look at the amount of slaughter. The slaughter in the zoo in Southern Canada is on a daily basis. Has anyone complained? Have you heard people coming to say, oh, we are going to investigate? No, we are the ones, IPOB, pushing, pushing and keep pushing for US Special Envoy to come to the zoo to see the level of carnage and mayhem going on. These are things you need to understand. Now, Miet Yala are the ones responding. They are saying that ethnic cleansing and genocide is not true. Now, Miyeti Yala, the fourth most deadly terrorist group in the world, they are now the government of the zoo. Some of you don't know this, but we do. Well, all of you, we are there. When they gave Miyeti Yala 100 billion, what did you do? What did you do? 100 billion given to a terrorist group. And some people say, oh, I, I, we support the government. We support what they are doing. You support a government giving 100 billion. That is for money for you. 100 billion to a terrorist group, the fourth most deadly terrorist group in the world. Flanny Headsman Mietiala. All of you were there, sheepishly looking, and you did nothing. Only IPOB complained. That is why I say that um, in my next life, I don't think I will come close to Africa, believe you me. They, uh, when I, I, I hear about people being stupid, but you have to be on the ground in the zoo to realize how daft our people are. People are lamenting. A 93 year old woman, Mrs. Azumi Boka, her community were uh, amongst those that were that was attacked during the latest attack by suspected armed headsmen on Gunan Rogo community in Kaju, local area of Southern Kaduna State. Of Southern Kaduna, rather, in Kaduna State. These are the amounts of killing taking place. People are dying and being slaughtered every blessed day. Every blessed day, people are dying. No one is talking. Britain is not talking. France is not talking. EU is not talking. Nobody is talking. Do you know why you are blacks and you are niggers? And nobody gives a damn about you. Until you give a damn about yourself.